Hello everyone, I am Reto and I'm welcoming you to the presentation of our ASPLOS paper Mitosis Transparently Self-Replicating Page Tables for Large Memory Machines. In our paper, we present the first systematic study of NUMA effects on page table logs. We demonstrate that remote memory accesses originating from page table logs result in a significant slowdown to the application's performance. We solve this problem by using page table replication or migration and propose mitosis, a system which transparently replicates the page tables of large memory application. This is joint work done with my colleagues Ajish, Abhishek, Mothi and Jay Neal. As a high level summary, mitosis is able to fully mitigate the NUMA effects on page table logs. This results in a speed up of up to 3.2x for single threaded application and 1.3x for multi threaded applications by eliminate, eliminating remote memory accesses during page table walks. Those numbers are measured on our prototype Linux implementation running on the fourth socket Intel Xeon machine with 512 GB of RAM. Mitosis achieves the speedup without requiring any modifications to the application workloads running on Linux. In our work, we target workloads with memory requirements in the order of multiple terabytes. However, a single processor only has a limited number of memory controllers which support a bounded amount of memory and provide a certain bandwidth. This amount of memory and bandwidth, however, is not enough to run our target workload application. To achieve the required memory capacity and bandwidth, large memory servers use multiple processors connected by a fast interconnect. Each processor has memory attached to the local memory controllers, which is accessible by all processors. This increases the total capacity of and bandwidth to physical memory. However, this also results in a NUMA architecture. Memory accesses now become non-uniform. Accesses to remote memory observe a lower bandwidth and higher latency than accesses to local memory resources. On our test machine, we measured roughly half the bandwidth and double the latency. There are two main techniques to reduce the NUMA effects on memory accesses in this type of machine architecture. First, there is NUMA-aware scheduling, which moves the process closer to where its data resides it wants to access. Secondly, NUMA-aware data migration moves data from a farther away memory node to a memory node which is closer to where the process is running. There is a large amount of related work investigating the allocation and scheduling policies for those type of NUMA machines. All of them primarily focus on data placement and scheduling policy. Most of them are also implemented in operating systems and hypervisor. In contrast, in our work, however, we ask, what about the placement of the page tables themselves? Let me provide you with some background information illustrating the root of the problem. Applications run in virtual address spaces and use virtual addresses to access memory. The processor's MMU then translates these virtual addresses used by the application to physical addresses understood by the memory hardware. This translation of virtual to physical addresses is defined by the page table, which is a multi-level radix tree residing in memory. It is important to note that this virtual to physical address translation is performed on every load and store instruction the program executes. This accounts for about 20% of all instructions. Working the page table on every memory access is very expensive. The TLB caches the physical addresses of previously translated virtual addresses. Subsequent memory accesses hit in a TLB which then directly returns the corresponding cached physical address. In the case of the TLB miss, however, the hardware page table walker uses the in-memory page table to perform the virtual to physical address translation. The key problem here is that, on the one hand, we have an increasing amount of DRAM capacity per processor. On the other hand, the size of the TLB is stagnating. 
On our test machine, for instance, the TLB coverage is less than 1% of total RAM. Adding more DRAM further reduces the TLB coverage even more. This in turn leads to more frequent TLB misses. In addition, on the x86 architecture, a TLB miss may require up to four additional memory accesses. And in turn, all of these memory accesses may be going to remote NUMA nodes and therefore the page table walker experiences NUMA effects while walking the page table. In our work, we were interested in those NUMA effects of the page table walk. We designed and conducted the first systematic study to evaluate and measure the NUMA effects on page table walks. The study consists of two parts. In the first part, we are interested in the distribution of the page table entries for multi-threaded workloads. In particular, the fraction of page table entries which point to a page table on a remote NUMA node. In this part of the study, we run a multi-threaded application workload on Linux. There are multiple threads running on the cores of the system, but there is just a single page table. Viewed from a fixed thread, some of the page tables are local, while others are remote. Even if the process has its data local, page table may still be distributed among the NUMA node of the system requiring remote memory accesses when handling a TLB miss. We wrote a tool which periodically saves the state of the page table during the workload's execution and then we analyze the distribution of those page table entries. The graph on the right shows the distribution of the page table entries for the graph 500 workload. In our analysis we found that a majority of the TLB misses require remote memory accesses during page table work. We refer to the paper for more workloads in this evaluation. The second part of the study, we are interested in the resulting slowdown remote to page table walks. In this scenario, we select a single threaded workload and control its execution and data allocation policy using NUMA control. In the base case, both data and page table pages are local to where the process is running. Next, we migrate the workload to another NUMA node. The NUMA migration policy of the operating system moves the data pages but leaves the page table pages on the NUMA node where they have been originally allocated. Consequently, all memory accesses from the page table walk are now remote memory accesses. We measure the execution time for both cases. The graph on the right shows the normalized execution time for the two workloads GUPS and Redis. We observe a 3.2x slowdown for GUPS and a 1.x slowdown for the Redis key value store. And all of that just because the page table walk now needs to access remote memory. Again, there are more configurations and workload in our paper. In summary, we observe that a majority of the TLB misses require remote memory accesses and that there can be a slowdown of up to 3.2x due to remote page table walks. To mitigate those NUMA effects on page table walk, we propose mitosis. Mitosis replicates the page table in the multi-threaded workloads on the NUMA nodes where the workload is running. Secondly, mitosis migrates the page table in the workload migration scenario along with the workload to the new NUMA node. We implemented mitosis in the Linux kernel for the x86 architecture. In the remainder of the talk, I will briefly highlight some aspect of our implementation and then evaluate mitosis on real hardware. All the code and artifacts are open source and available on GitHub. There are three main components of the mitosis implementation. First, mitosis takes care of the allocation of the page table replica. Secondly, it keeps the replicas consistent with each other by propagating updates. This is required for correctness. Secondly, mitosis selects the local page table replica when the application is run. This is important for the performance of the application workload. In our current implementation, mitosis uses an eager allocation strategy. Whenever a page table page is needed, mitosis also allocates memory for all the other replica. 
and vice versa, whenever a page shape of page is no longer lead needed, mitosis also frees memory for the replicas. Whenever a page table is updated, mitosis eagerly propagates the updates to the replicas. Linux already ensures mutual exclusion by using locks in the virtual memory subsystem and it uses the first replica as the primary page table. After the lock has been taken, mitosis eagerly updates the replicas by propagating the operation applied to the primary replica. After the operation has been completed, the lock is released and all the replicas are in a consistent state. This process, however, requires a method to efficiently find and locate the replicas in memory. Linux already maintains metadata for each 4 kilobyte page of physical memory, which can be efficiently obtained from the page table's physical address. Mitosis uses this data structure to store a pointer to the other replica. This effectively forms a circular list of all the replica page table. During the update, mitosis simply follows the pointer to the next replica and applies the update operation. The last part is to select the right replica on a context switch. We extended Linux's MM struct to hold an array of pointers to the root page tables of the correct created replicas. There is one entry per NUMA node in that array. On a context switch, we use the pointer to the root page table depending on the local NUMA node ID. This ensures that always the local replica is selected. In Linux, the PVOPS interface provides a clean API to allocate, update and free page tables as well as write the translation based registers. It is used in parvirtualized environments such as Zen, but it is also unified to modify the page tables when Linux is running natively in the machine. We implemented Mitosis as a new backend to this PVOPS interface. We extended the native functions to propagate the updates to the page table replica. Moreover, we also added functions to read the page table entries. This is important for correctly reading the access and dirty bits of the page table. Page table has certain bits like the access and dirty bit, which are set by hardware indicating that the page has been accessed by the application. However, hardware only updates its local page table replica, making the replicas inconsistent with each other. This is a problem as operating systems use these bits in paging and caching algorithms. Mitosis reads all the replicas and uses the OR operation to calculate the correct value of those access bits. The result of this read function is then being used by the paging and caching algorithms and ensures their correctness. So far, we talked about the mechanisms to support migration and replication inside the Linux kernel. Mitosis can be controlled using a system-wide policy to enable and disable page table replication for all processes through entries in the procfs file system. Alternatively, we provide a fine-grained per allocation policy selection mechanism through the in integration with libnuma and numa control. Let us now evaluate mitosis. We evaluate mitosis using a selection of multi-threaded and single-threaded workloads. In this part of the evaluation, we measure the performance of multi-threaded workloads with and without mitosis. In the first touch case, we use a standard Linux setting and a single page table per process. In the mitosis case, we replicate the page tables among the NUMA nodes the workload is running on. The graph on the right shows the execution cycles for Kenil and memcached normalized to the default Linux policy. The highlighted part of the bars indicate the number of cycles spent for walking the page table. Mitosis achieves a speed up of 1.3x and 1.2x respectively, and thus it is able to improve the performance of multi threaded workloads with page table migration. We refer to the paper for more workloads with similar results. In the second part of the evaluation, we measure the effects of the workload migration scenario with and without mitosis. 
We take the configuration with node local page tables and data pages as the base case. The graph on the right shows the measured runtime for the GUPS and Redis workloads normalized to the base case where everything is local. With the remote page tables, the runtime run increases 1.8x and 3.2x respectively. Mitosis then also migrates the page tables to the NUMA node where the workload has been migrated to. And therefore Mitosis achieves a 3.2x and 1.x speedup compared to the remote page table case for GUPS and Redis respectively. It is therefore achieving the same performance as for the base case for both workloads. Again, we refer to the paper for more workloads of similar results. We've shown that mitosis improves the performance of our workloads. This evaluation measures the cost of maintaining the replica page tables. We modify the page tables through a series of mmap, mprotect and unmap operations where the graphs show the overheads of 4-way replication for 4 kilobytes, 8 megabyte, and 4 gigabyte memory regions respectively. For the MMAP operation, mitosis is within 4% of the Linux def default. For MUNMAP, mitosis observes a 30% slowdown despite maintaining 4 replicas. MProtect on large memory regions reveals a slowdown of 3.2x due to the maintenance of those 4 page table replicas. Overall, there's about 0.6% of additional memory needed to hold all the four replica copies. In this talk, I've presented mitosis, transparently self-replicating page tables for large memory machine. I've shown to you the first systematic study showing NUMA effects on page table walks. We've proposed mitosis, a system to transparently replicate or migrate page tables. Mitosis is implemented in the Linux kernel. All the code and artifacts are open source and available on our GitHub page. Lastly, we've shown that Mitosis is able to achieve a speedup of up to 3.2x in the workload migration scenario and up to 1.3x for multi-threaded workloads. Thank you for your attention.